Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here I'll be doing a demonstration on the three things which can cause uneven pad wear. Also don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on the link in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future tutorial videos. This video only applies to disc brake assemblies. Uneven pad wear will shorten the life expectancy of your pads along with reducing your braking performance. Some of these issues will not affect all disc brake assembly systems, which I will point out on each issue. Issue number one is with multiple piston calipers. Multi-piston calipers are not available on all vehicles. There can be multiple pistons from one side on a floating caliper assembly, or pistons on each side of the caliper, which would be found on a fixed caliper assembly. So this particular vehicle I have here is equipped with two pistons on a floating caliper assembly. As another example, here I have a 1984 BMW 733i and it is equipped with a four piston caliper, therefore two pistons on each side of the rotor. Multi-piston calipers can have one or multiple piston C's which would cause the pad to wear on an angle as it pushes from one side and not the other. Next if it is a fixed caliper assembly, a piston or pistons can be stuck on one side of the rotor therefore only allowing one pad to create contact and not the other. In either situation the safest solution is either replacing the caliper or rebuilding the unit. A used replacement caliper can be used but its life expectancy is unknown. Other solutions consist of rebuilding the caliper yourself if you have the proper tools for the repair, purchasing a rebuilt unit, or purchasing a new unit. Issue number two involves the sliding or guide pins. If you haven't seen one of my older videos I do show a full procedure on how to extract a stuck pin along with lubricating maintenance. Again, not all vehicles are equipped with sliding pins because this feature is found on only floating caliper assemblies. Fixed calipers do not have this feature. You will have two pins, one on each side of the brake pad. These two can cause the pad to wear on an angle or a difference of pad wear on each side of the rotor. If one pin is stuck or seized, this will make the pad wear on an angle. If both pins are stuck or seized, this will not allow the caliper to float, therefore only making one pad wear and not the other. The pad which will show the most wear will be on the caliper piston side. Anytime there is work done on the brakes, the sliding pins should be checked and lubricated. If the pins are too far damaged, then they will need to be replaced and can be purchased along with new boots. I will include a link in the description below to the video relating specifically to sliding pins. Now for the last issue, which is number three, brake pad carriers. This isn't something that affects all carriers as they can have different designs, but on this particular vehicle the pads were basically seized into place. What happens here is that the carrier can become rusty or debris can build up behind the anti-rattle clips. This will create tighter clearances making the pads jam completely or only on a skew. One pad may wear more than the other or they may become worn on an angle. This is a fairly easy fix but the carrier must be removed. Simply remove the anti-rattle clips, ensure they are clean, and then clean in behind their location on the carrier. You may need to remove some buildup of road grime or rust. Sometimes this can be done using a wire brush, other times you will need to use a file. Clean up the slots, reinstall the anti-rattle clips, and then test fit the pads. Ensure they do not bind in their slots. To stay up to date with my latest videos, subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.